What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have some more fun with the double barrel elephant gun chambered in 500 Nitro Express. We already shot some ballistic gel with the 458 lot. We had some really good results but I'm really curious to see what happens when we hit it with the 500 Nitro. I've got our table set up and the nice people over at Clear Ballistics sent us two new blocks of ballistic gel and then I've got two old blocks. Total we're going to have 64 inches of gel. Now, last time we did not catch the brass solid from the 458 lot, so I'm guessing we weren't gonna catch it today with the 500 Nitro Express either. Taking a page out of Paul Harrell's book, he normally uses a fleece backstop. I didn't have any fleece, but I got some old bed sheets, and I've got a 44 Magnum rated soft armor plate from Caliber Armor. I'm hoping that the round will slow down enough after it makes it through all that gel and we're able to catch it with that. While I get this set up, I want to tell you about my 1 million subscriber giveaway. There's a link in the description down below where you can go get entered. I'm giving away a lot of cool stuff. There's going to be an autographed goat gun from Chuck Liddell. There's going to be an autographed Kentucky Ballistics action figure. Not going to lie, it's a little bit creepy an autograph folding table and all kinds of cool stuff. Doesn't cost you anything to enter and the drawing is going to be at the end of this month, December 2020. So if you're watching this video later on uh, down the road, the giveaway is not going on anymore. It's good until the end of December 2020. Also, I'm really sorry to my international viewers. A lot of you are pretty upset with me and I'm super sorry. My team was not able to make it international. Hopefully next time we will. I appreciate all of my international viewers and I hope you can forgive me. Got the gel all set up and here's the firearm we are using. This is the double barrel elephant rifle chambered in 500 Nitro Express. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I am not an elephant hunter. I just love ridiculous firearms. We're gonna use three different types of ammunition on this gel today. We're gonna start out with this one. This is a Hornady 570 grain DGX. Now I believe we will catch this one without a problem because this has a lead core. Okay, that's gonna kick a lot harder being down like this. Ow! Well, we blew that block off the table and that is a lot of damage to that first block. Went low on the second block and bust it through the table. All right, let's try again. I don't think this table is going to make it. It's already warped. By hitting the same spot, created a huge wound channel, and it went a little further this time before it went through the table. Okay, third time's the charm, right? Plop that down in there. I'm sure one of you is gonna notice that my finger's wrapped up. I cut it on this back trigger. It seems to be a little bit sharp. I just don't wanna get blood on my gun, so I went ahead and wrapped it up. Okay, let's see if we can get it this time. I think we did it. I think we caught it. I'm about to give up on the Hornady DGX. So this time, went through the block, went to the second block, and then made it into the third, and then we shot out the side of the block. Well, I'm gonna be honest, this isn't going very well so far. Uh, we have tried three times with the DGX and we cannot catch one of the rounds. So let's go ahead and move on to the next ammunition. This is a Federal 570 grain Swift A-frame. I also have to say that shooting this thing kneeling, uh, it's kicking a whole lot harder because I don't have as much give Jeez. Jeez. Ah, we 
Finally caught one. I think I may have hit the same hole twice. Huge damage to the first block. Went into the second block, and then we stopped right there in the third block. We went through two blocks, so that's 32 inches of gel, and it looks like it went about another six inches for about 38 inches total. That is a very large round. <laughs> it stayed together really well. I'm pretty sure I know why we're not having a lot of success with this ballistic gel, and that's because before I shot it, I didn't give it its good luck slap. Now for the round that I'm most excited about. This is the Nosler 570 grain brass solid. The way things are going, I'm pretty doubtful we're gonna catch this thing, but I'm really hoping that the bed sheets and the body armor make a difference. Okay, Let's see if we catch it. Oh my goodness. kidding me pretty sure we did not catch it but here is a cool shot of the shell ejecting 500 nitro express does not play around we went through 64 inches of ballistic gel then we went through all these bed sheets there's your little hole at the back right there then <clears throat> We went through the 44 Magnum rated soft armor. Oh, no, we didn't. Dude, there it is. It's still in the armor. It would have went through if the cinder block wasn't there, but it still had enough energy to punch that cinder block and destroy it, just knock it into a million pieces. But the round stopped right there in that body armor. I cannot believe we just caught that thing. Like a tube of lipstick in that thing. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is a huge, huge bullet with a lot of power. I cannot believe that we caught it. Again, 64 inches of gel went through all these bed sheets, almost went through the 44 Magnum panel. The only reason it didn't was because the cinder block was there and it still had enough energy to completely destroy that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I know you savages wanted to see me pull both triggers again, but I'm not doing it today because I got a boo-boo. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. By the way, my sweatshirts are on KentuckyBallistics.com now. I know a video or two ago, I told you to go check them out and they weren't there. You guys were pretty mad about that. Sorry, they are there now. If you want to check them out, use my link in the description down below. It'll take you to KentuckyBallistics.com. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found down in the description down below or on my website kentuckyballistics.com again my name is scott thank you so much for watching kentucky ballistics and i'll see you next time